still, mister. Come on. I got a special treat for you. Born free. I was born free, goddamn you. Now, I'm just gonna check your pockets. We ain't free no more. <laughs> Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying. I killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. <laughs> it's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail, either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't going to die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's going to be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor... Andrew Bell the third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this day of professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. Humane. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well. You ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, oh, that must be of an entirely different kind. 